what you're looking at right here is a surveillance camera in my front yard and right here is a radar device that I bought because I cannot get the Lee County Sheriff's Department to come out and put one out here I've been asking for seven years and I'm still yet to uh, see one on this road there's the time and date there's the road right there so far since uh, 106 a red Chevy come in red Chevy car come in doing 45 miles an hour it's on the video here at 115 a cream colored soul went out that one there is 37 miles an hour that just came out of here at uh, 1315 uh, or 158 uh, one came out doing 43 miles an hour a pickup truck two-tone now it's a hell of a note when you have to buy your own radar device and clock people coming in and out of your road because the Lee County Sheriff's Department Mike Scott won't do it and when they're doing 34 but anyway uh, I've even got a uh, white pickup truck just come in pulling a big ass tandem trailer look like a car hauler doing uh, 38 miles an hour just a minute ago but uh, that truck there just came out doing 26 but you know this is ridiculous I asked in, in the Lee County Sheriff's Department and the Florida Highway Patrol Commercial Traffic Unit to come out and do this right here. Just what I'm doing right here. I'm not asking for them to live out here on this road. We have a real big problem on this road here. That's Staley Road right there in East Fort Myers, Florida. We have people doing 75 miles an hour down through here. Little red Jeep Wrangler. He's on. He's on. He's on your uh, YouTube page here. I've got him on there. Doing 74 miles an hour. That one's 33 miles an hour. But you know, I think the point. The point is, the residents of this neighborhood should not have to buy radar devices to show the Lee County Sheriff's Department that there's people speeding. They should be out here checking the speed limits. Not just coming in, driving in, going to the back 40 back there to the turnaround and driving the hell back out, taking what, a lousy five minutes? You know, that's not right. We should not have to pay these people to do nothing. Like yeah, the other day, I was over on uh, Buckingham Road. There was five cop cars sitting in a vacant lot field. Just sitting there talking. Five of them. Well, they might be looking at that stop sign at uh, Buckingham Road in... Uh, what's that other road? Well, right there in front of that Buckingham Air Park. You know, this is ridiculous. We should not have to do this. This is the Lee County Sheriff's Department's traffic unit to do this. And the Highway Patrol Commercial Division, William H. Harris. And uh, I believe the section out here is uh, being operated by uh, Lieutenant Lathan of the uh, traffic unit in uh, Lee County Sheriff's Department Division. But, you know, this is ridiculous. Thirty-seven miles an hour. That red pickup truck just went uh, headed north on Staley 
Now, according to the Lee County Sheriff's deputies that came out here, they allow 36 miles an hour. Anything uh, above 36, they consider it speeding. Now, I'm sorry, there's 37. Guess what? That, bra that blue, dark blue uh, Ford Explorer was doing two miles an hour over the posted or over the limit there. Ain't that right there, Mike Scott? Twenty-nine. Thirty-three. They were both together. I can't get but one at a time. When they're that close together, I can only read the first one. But they looked like they were hooked uh, bumper to bumper almost. Thirty-two. That little red van was doing. Forty-two miles an hour. Them two cars just come in. Last one was a silver Dodge Charger that lives on Carter Road. Forty-two miles an hour. She came in here. Like I said, this is Staley Road, right there. This is the south end of Staley Road. There's one to come in doing 41 miles an hour. Right there. You just saw it. That was at 138. But try to get a Lee County Sheriff's Deputy out here between these hours to, to stay and do their job and catch these people. 41 miles an hour. That's a $280 ticket. Easy. minivan 32 miles an hour